Hey guys, we are the Weekend Chasers and we chase adventures one weekend at a time. And if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Last weekend, we went to Baguio City and let me share with you our experience. For those who are planning to do a DIY travel to Baguio, this is your complete guide. Sa video na to, we will show you how to commute to Baguio at ang mga bus na pwede ninyong sakyan. I have been to Baguio for a few times already and have tried both the regular bus and the luxury or the first class buses. We will give you three hotel recommendations at itong mga hotel na to ay walking distance sa Burnham Park at Session Road. We will give you a room tour and how much we paid for each of the rooms. Sa video din na to, isishare namin ang mga tourist spots na pwede ninyong puntahan at ang mga restaurants na pwede ninyong itry at ang summary of our expenses for 3 days, 2 nights stay in Baguio. How to commute to Baguio? There are two bus lines that we have tried, the Victory Liner and the Solid North bus. Your first option is the Victory Liner in Cubao. Pwede ka sa terminal nila magpa-reserve ng ticket pero mas convenient na mag-book online sa website nila. Sa dami ng tao na pumupunta ng Baguio, medyo mahirap maging chance passenger kaya I highly recommend to buy your ticket in advance. Ito ang schedule ng trips nila, ipost na lang ang video na to para makita niyo. Sa Victory Liner, you have two bus options. The regular air-conditioned bus at ang first class bus. This is the regular bus na may isang stopover at ang pamasay ay 626 pesos at 12.30 a.m. ang earliest na biyahe nila. If you are looking for a more comfortable option, I recommend that you book the first class bus. Sobrang relax ang biyahe nyo dito with their 2x1 seating configuration with wider reclinable lazy boy seats and a spacious leg room. Meron itong malaking TV sa harapan at restroom for a less worry travel. And if you have to work while traveling just like me, this is the bus that you have to book. May mga charging ports ang upuan at na-adjust ang armrest at hindi masikip so you can travel comfortably to bag. This is only 999 pesos and I can say that is worth it kasi bukod sa komportable ka, your travel time is a lot faster kasi wala itong stopover. Mm -hmm. On behalf of our bus driver, Mr. Lapira, my name is Jean Bernales, your bus stewardess. Welcome aboard Victor Liner First Class Street. Your travel time will be approximately 4 to 5 hours. For your comfort, we have a washroom located at the center section of the bus. And should you need any assistance, please do not hesitate to call me anytime during the trip. Thank you. Parang nasa aeroplano lang kasi meron kayong bus stewardess at meron pang libreng snack and a bottle of water. There is another luxury bus option to Baguio, the Solid North Bus. Ang terminal naman ito ay sa PTEC sa Paranaque. Meron kayong sariling monitor where you can play games so you won't get bored while traveling. Just like the first class bus ng Victory Liner, this has 2x1 configuration. Kaya kung mag-isa ka lang bumiyahe at gusto mong walang katabi sa upuan, you can book their single seat. This luxury bus is also 999 pesos per seat and you can enjoy a comfortable travel with spacious leg room and a wide reclinable lazy boy seat. Since it is coming from PTEX, ito ang magiging view ninyo while you travel. Dada nito ng Naia Airport at meron kayo magandang view ng runway. At malalaman ninyong malapit na kayo sa Baguio kapag ito na ang view ninyo. Kasi nasa elevated area na kayo Kasi Baguio is located within the Cordillera Central Mountain Range. Dahil nasa mataas na lugar siya ay malamig ang klima dito and this cool climate makes it suitable for plants and trees to grow abundantly in the area. Kaya expect nyo ang ganitong view pagdating nyo ng Baguio. Where to stay in Baguio? My first recommendation is the Metro Pines Inn na isang kalsada lang ang layo sa Burnham Park. 
This is the view from their balcony and you will see the Burnham Park right away. Dahil sobrang lapit nito sa mga tourist destinations, I have stayed in this hotel for two times already. And let me give you a tour of their rooms. This is their standard single bedroom and upon entry, you will notice how spacious it is. It has a queen size bed, a cabinet, bedside table, it has a wall mounted TV, a workstation, and a basket of toiletries and clean towels. There's a table for luggage near the door and another table near the bed, so there's a lot of space to put your things on. The comfort room is big with glass divider between the shower and the toilet area, and it has a hot shower that is necessary for a cold place like Baguio. This is their standard twin bedroom that is also very spacious. The single bedroom is 2,800 that I booked in Agoda, while this twin bedroom is 3,200 pesos. The hotel has no restaurant, so they do not serve breakfast, but there's a cafe that's open for 24-7 that can serve food. And there's a lot of restaurants that's just few steps away from the hotel, and the famous Good Taste restaurant is just one building away from this hotel. In terms of location, this place is a 10 out of 10. The second hotel I would recommend is cheaper but definitely a good option if you want to stay along Session Road. This is the Binget Prime Hotel. For only 1,781 pesos per night, you get to stay in a spacious room with a good view of the city. Kung galing kayong Burnham Park at pupunta kayo ng SM ay madadaanan ninyo itong hotel na to. Bukod na nasa city proper siya ng Baguio, ang location nito ay sobrang convenient para sa mga commuters kasi malapit siya sa bus station. This may be a cheaper option but the room will provide you everything you need. It has a queen size bed, a TV, a dining table and chairs, and even have extra chairs that you can bring in the balcony to relax and watch how Session Road get crowded and busy with the tourists during the day and even at night. The room comes with free bottles of water and a snack and a complimentary breakfast for two. This is your view while working if you brought your laptops with you and you have to work while on vacation just like me. Their Wi-Fi is working which is one of my requirements when booking a hotel as I have to respond to some emails and monitor the account I handle. For a budget-friendly hotel with free breakfast and a very good location, this place is definitely a good find. Olive Town Center and Hotel is the third place I would recommend. This hotel is known for its big chandeliers and very high ceiling. It is walking distance to Session Road at malapit sa palengke where you can buy your essentials. If you are looking for a place that's quiet but not too far from the city and Burnham Park, this is the hotel for you. By the looks of it, it is obvious that the rooms are new and well maintained. The room we got had two beds and it can be compared to a four-star hotel where you get a really comfy blanket and two sets of pillows per bed. It has a big TV, a workstation slash a vanity table on both sides of the bed, a huge cabinet with a lot of compartments, and a clean comfort room with a hot and cold shower. Kung medyo maselan ka pagdating sa accommodation, this is the hotel that you have to book kasi sobrang linis niya. They have a balcony with a sliding door and you will see the neighboring buildings at first. But when you turn right, you get a good view of the residential area filled with trees and colorful houses. We booked this hotel for 4,000 pesos per night. They do not serve breakfast but there are a lot of nearby restaurants and stores where you can buy food. Below the hotel is a convenience store and just a minute walk ay may makikita kayong mga sari-sari store at karinderia where you can buy food at a reasonable price.
what to do in Baguio, the first thing that comes to mind is the famous Burnham Park that was named after an American architect, Daniel Hudson Burnham, who designed the park. Ang pinupuntahan dito ay ang Burnham Lagoon kung saan pwede kayo mag-rent ng puntun paddle boats o kaya yung swan paddle boats nila. Pero bukod dito, marami pang attractions ang park na ito kasi nahati siya sa iba't ibang cluster like Children's Playground, Igorot Garden, Orchidarium, Picnic Grove, Biking and Skating Rink, and many more. Sobrang lawak nito at mag enjoy kayo maglakad-lakad just by enjoying the view of the lagoon, the trees scattered all over the park, and variety of flowering plants that's so beautiful to see. At syempre, hindi pwedeng hindi natin ma-experience ang boating sa Burnham Lake. Pagpasok nyo sa entrance ay may malaking tarpaulin with selections of boats to rent and its prices. The smallest paddle boat for two is 250 pesos and the bigger ones are 300 to 350 pesos depending on the number of people in your group. Upon payment, they will provide you with a life jacket and they will not allow you to go boating without wearing one. The Burnham Lake is at least 3 meters deep and they are very straight for a reason. We chose a swan pedal boat because I have to take videos so I prefer to make my feet busy paddling and my hands to hold my phone really tight to make sure that it won't get wet. Another activity to do in the park is biking. There are several bike rental stores in the area and you can rent a bike for as low as 75 pesos for kids and 150 pesos for the adults. The area is very big so even if there are a lot of tourists, you will still have a space to bike. Ingat lang at wag sobrang bilis magpatakbo kasi madaming bata ang nagpabike. This is one of the activities that you can do as a family and maybe a way to keep your kids busy while you enjoy the park. But of course, someone should be keeping an eye on your young ones. We also tried the famous strawberry taho and other street foods in the area. This is the view of the Burnham Lake at 5.30 in the morning. It gets really crowded and noisy during the day, but if you go to the park really early, it is quiet and really peaceful, and you can enjoy an early morning walk with fresh cold air and really nice view. You will see other people who are doing their early morning exercise and there are groups of people who would perform Zumba dances and you are welcome to join them. At night, the main street of Baguio is being closed for the night market. This is another activity that you can do kung mahilig kayo mag-ukay-ukay kasi madami kayong pagpipilian at madaming murang paninda na mabibili. As you can see in the video, sobrang crowded yung lugar kaya magbawi ng konting pasensya kasi hindi maiiwasan ang magkabanggaan at magkasabihan. Mura ang mga paninda dito at syempre, pwede kang tumawag. Meron ding area para sa mga street foods kaya kung pagod ka na mamili, pwede kang sumaglit doon at kumain muna bago bumalik ng inyong hotel.
This is the Baguio Cathedral and another place that you can visit in Baguio. It is also called as Our Lady of the Atonement Cathedral. From Session Road, you have to take a 104-step stone staircase that ends at a cavalry to get to the cathedral. The session road ends in SM Baguio. This is one of the elevated area in Baguio where you can have a good look of the city and the surrounding area. Another tourist attraction in Baguio is the Mice Park. From Session Road, kailangan mo mag-taxi kasi medyo malayo ito. We paid 170 pesos for one way just to get there. It is called Mice View because the park overlooks the mining town of Itogon that is known for having gold and copper mines. You can try wearing the traditional igorot clothes for only 50 pesos rent and you can take a picture with the horses and ride them for 50 pesos per person. Where to eat in Baguio? This is the famous restaurant in Baguio, the Good Taste Restaurant. There's always a long queue of people waiting in line to dine here, but the wait is worth it. We ordered hot and spicy buttered chicken for 580 pesos, Lumpiang Shanghai for 315 pesos, Pansit for 315 pesos, and Chap Suey for 295 that were all served in a family style platter. I know this is a long video but thank you for watching and reaching this far. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you!